In this video, I'm going to show you three very inexpensive stocks you can use to write covered calls. But here's the deal. I use them. And I'm going to show you exactly what trades I use them for. Hey, look, stick around. I know you're going to like this one. Hey, welcome back, everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Covered Call video. Now, today's video is going to be about three smaller size stocks that I would use writing covered calls. I got a question from one of the members that said, John, I'm back in the game, but I would just like to get my toes a little wet, right? I just want to take on a small position, write a covered call just to get the feel for it. And uh, so that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to show you a relatively conservative stock that you won't make that much money, but I'll tell you what, it is a feel good stock for me because the trading range is really, really clean and uh, you won't have too many nightmares. The second stock will be a little bit moderately risky. And then finally, we'll talk about one that's flat out, full on fat covered call premiums. We're talking 3X leveraged ETFs. I use them all the time. Now, the difference between my videos and the other videos on YouTube, for which those YouTubers will talk about three stocks to buy now, I actually trade these. Many times you'll find with other YouTubers, they don't trade them. And that is the absolute travesty when it comes to YouTube. Because what you find is that they're looking to generate that YouTube money, talking about stocks, giving their opinion. And many times that opinion is a positive opinion. They sucker us into buying the stock. And next thing you know, we're left holding the bag as they're doing another video about another three stocks that they've never used trading. I can give you many examples of that. The reason I mention that is because when you watch videos on YouTube, I really want you to uh, do your own due diligence. Do not go out and buy these three stocks because I'm mentioning them today. Now, I'm going to give you a little street cred because I have used them. And in fact, I am using them. But that doesn't mean you go out right now and buy them. Okay, that would be stupid. We do our due diligence. We know about the stocks we're trading because we have to hold them. We have to sleep at night. And you do not want to be that person that it makes an investment, the stock falls, and you don't know why you own it. And now you're freaking out. Okay? We don't need to do that. We're not going to do that. So let's go ahead and get to this. We are going to talk three stocks. We're going to talk about a somewhat conservative, a medium risky stock. And of course, we'll go full on talk 3X leverage DTF, three inexpensive stocks you can use for writing covered calls. So hey, look, if you like anything you hear today, I want you to subscribe to the channel. It's right there. We come back every week, show you timely and relevant covered call trades for which I'm making real cash flow in retirement. Okay, everything I show you are trades that I'm doing now, have done. It's all right here, right now. So look, if you like what you hear today, I want you to bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Now, what I'm doing here is showing you my total income tracker. Now, what I do is use my total income tracker every single day. In fact, I am in this all the time. You can go to my website, cpt-board.com, click free spreadsheets. They're all there. They're all there for free. I don't spam you and I don't sell you nothing. I need you to use these tools to keep the numbers in front of you. In fact, let me show you a real-time trade I did today, and I'm going to show you what I've added to all of my real-time blog posts. I think you'll be interested. Now we're going to get to these three trades. I just want to show you VLO. Okay, I own VLO. I had a cash secure put at 129. I got to sign the shares, and guess where VLO is trading now? 108. That doesn't mean we sit on our hands, we fall in the fetal position, and we worry about it. What we do is we pull up our bootstraps and we go to work. We stay the course. We sell premium. We try to make money on money invested. Let me say that again. We try to make money on money invested. I invested money in VLO. I need a return on investment until this sucker comes green. And that's what we're looking to do. So what I've added for the members real-time blog posts, how much money have I made using these shares? Okay, so the way it works is this. When I wanted to get involved with VLO, I did a cash secure put 
for which I picked the 125 strike. The stock actually moved higher, so I was able to buy that option back, and we went ahead and placed a 129 strike. Now, since then, the stock has fallen. So I was assigned the shares at 129. Now the question is, can we write a couple covered calls? And as you can see, we did that. Now I included that first cash secure put because that's how I started this trade on VLO. Usually I won't do that, but because this is all sort of the same idea, we're gonna go ahead and include it on this trade. Well, as you can see, we are keeping track of how much money we are making with this investment. Okay, I've made $7,800 in cover call premiums, cash secure put premiums with this money invested. That's how we think, right? That's how we think. We do not buy and hold. We buy, sell premium, collect dividends, and if our shares are taken away, they go away. That's the purpose of the investment, to have the shares go away because that typically means max profit and we are winning. So. Just wanted to show you that this is the mindset. This is the mindset we have when we sell premium. That's why when I show you my total income tracker, we use it every single day. It has calculators built into it where you would actually plug in buybacks and it'll tell you how much money you'll make. If you go to cptdashboard.com, click free spreadsheets, you'll see you can download all these free spreadsheets. I don't charge you a nickel. I want you to use them. I want you to keep the numbers in front of you. Now, speaking of those numbers, we're gonna talk about stock number one, which is Cisco. You can see it right there, CSCO, Cisco Systems. This is the big networking company. To me, this is a rather conservative trade that pays just enough cover call premiums to make it worth it. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the trades I've done with Cisco, just so you'll get a feel for it. Now, do not get confused, okay? I use Cisco to write covered calls. However, I use Cisco using the poor man's covered call investment strategy, where we use a leaps call option in lieu of owning the shares. But at the end of the day, we're selling near-term covered calls. So stock number one, I absolutely love to use Cisco Systems. Now with it trading around 49.57, that's a relatively inexpensive stock. With that said, do understand, when I say inexpensive stock, that is physical money on the table. $4,957, that's, that's what I talk about when I'm saying inexpensive stock, because there could be a $20 stock that is very expensive, right? Based on its profits, PE ratio. So I'm being clear here when I say it's inexpensive, we're talking about the dollar value for which you would buy per share. Have to make that clear. Cisco is actually an inexpensive stock and it's trading pretty fair value right now. I use the poor man's cover call on Cisco multiple times. In fact, I like this trade so much, you could see where I went ahead. I initially bought five leaps call options, loved it so much, I then added to that position and now we have a total of 15. And right now I have two active covered calls using Cisco. I have used Cisco in the past many times, buying shares, writing covered calls. I even used Cisco for a covered call with dividend capture. So Cisco is one of my favorite, more conservative plays. Let's go to the charts and see where it's trading and why I think it's a good trade for me right now. Okay, this is not financial advice. These are my three favorite inexpensive stocks to use for writing covered calls. Notice Cisco has a dividend coming shortly. And I'll tell you what, Wall Street's gonna look to collect that dividend. I will too. Now, what we like to do is use a stock like Cisco to where we buy the shares. And as the stock makes a little bit of a dividend move, higher as Wall Street comes in and buys the stock so they can collect that fat 39 cent dividend, well, the stock will be moved higher because the market maker has to move the price higher because there's more buying. Well, we're gonna take advantage of that by buying right here at 49.53. And as we get closer to that July 5th X date, uh, hopefully the stock moves a little bit higher. We collect both a stock move, right? The stock will move from 59.52 to wherever it goes plus the covered call I write, and I'm hoping to collect the 39 cent dividend. You could see how we can win three ways with Cisco right now. Uh, my members are gonna get that trade because I could tell you right now, we're gonna do that. Love making 3X the money on a simple buy, write a covered call trade. Let's go ahead and look at the charts and see where it's trading right now. 
You know how we do it if you've been watching the channel. We love finding its trading range. And then what we want to do is get involved in that lower 25 percentile. Right, So I don't want to put money in right here because had I put money in right there, I'd be losing money. So we don't do that. What we want to do is put money in right here. So when it moves higher, because again, this is its trading range or a typical trading range when the market's not taking a bath or Cisco gives us some bad numbers. It's the typical trading range Wall Street will use. And notice that Wall Street loves to use those resistance lines. Hey, look, there's no crystal ball or no AI algorithm that will help you in your trading. It might help you with a favorable trade setup, but look, Every single time this thing ticks, it's everything about volume and where the stock or the market's going that day. If the market's selling off, I'll tell you what, unless there's good news for the most part, your stock's going to sell off. If your stock is one that might be a safe haven, right, in a market that's falling, well, hey, you might get a move higher while the market's falling. Hey, nobody has the ultimate playbook, the ultimate winning playbook when it comes to stocks. You try to find the most favorable trade setup, you place that trade, and then you go for it, but more importantly, we manage it. So getting back to Cisco here, this is what I absolutely love. We're gonna take a look at its chart over the past uh, couple years here. And as you can see, going back to 2018, Gosh, had you bought right here, you're pretty much break even minus the dividends. The dividends are nice, and uh, this is a great buy and hold stock where you collect 3% and it acts like a utility. It's kind of like Verizon. It's kind of like Intel, right? It's a tech stock that at the end of the day, typically you own it for the dividend. Now, with that said, we use it for cover call writing. And uh, right now you could see that trading range is looking beautiful. They had great earnings. Well, let me say they had earnings that were very good and then Wall Street picked this one thing and kind of destroyed the stock and it fell. Uh, by the way, I sent the members an email saying, look, we want to buy right there. Cash secure put right there. We did that. And uh, look at that nice little move it has made. That was writing on the wall. Absolutely saw that. We profited from that. And in fact, that's where I decided to buy those 10 leaps options, putting more skin in the game on this trade. So if you're looking for an inexpensive stock, Cisco is one that I want you to take a look at. Do your due diligence. What I'd really like you to do is try to get action in that lower 25 percentile. Notice we have more likelihood that it'll go higher than lower. Now, stock number two is going to be Dutch Bros. You see it right there. Uh, I use Dutch Bros, have used Dutch Bros. I have, I think, 1,500 shares of Dutch Bros. Uh, we are getting kicked in the nads with Dutch Bros. We're not actually in a winning position right now, but we've written covered calls. We're pocketing that near-term covered call premium. Now, if you were to get involved with Dutch Bros right now, this is what I'm looking at. Now, I got involved when it was trading in the 40s. It fell because of earnings. I'm kind of stuck holding the bag. Now I'm going to stay the course. I'm going to keep doing what I do. But right here, right now, Dutch Bros is trading for $28. This might be your favorable entry point into the stock after you do your due diligence. And of course, that's my opinion only. Let's go ahead and take a look at Dutch Bros. And I'll tell you why I like its trading range right now. Now, Dutch Bros does not have a dividend, and uh, quite frankly, they're dependent upon same store sales, and uh, they're in a very tight coffee market. So what we have here with Dutch Bros is you really have to have the belief that uh, Dutch Bros has a great business model. Basically, what they do is a little bit different than what Starbucks does, where they have these drive-ups versus the big old brick and mortar right? So their overhead might be a little bit less. Right now, since going public, they're slowly starting to grow the business. And as long as management can keep doing that, where they're not literally expanding so fast that uh, they gobble up all their cash, they should be fine. That's my opinion. And I'm invested in 1,500 shares. And oh, by the way, I didn't mention, I have like three or five leaps call options that expire in October. I'm getting my ass kicked on that. Hey, look, man, we don't win all the time, right? I mean, we try to win as many times as we can. 
And we're getting to a point now where we're winning more than we're losing. And in fact, that's where you will be if you put in the time, you put in the work. I know, I know you will. I'm pulling for you. Now, with that said, let's talk about Dutch Bros. Again, it's a very inexpensive stock purchase price wise. It would cost you about $2,800 for 100 shares. You would then write a covered call and you could probably make over a buck, maybe two bucks, depending on the strike price you pick. Now, again, notice their trading range is so bankable. Look, it may be making lower lows and uh, that sort of sucks when you see stocks like Nvidia rocketing to all time highs. But that's not the business we're in. The business we're in is picking great stocks, using them, finding great initial trade setups for 30 days. We generate the cash flow. Hopefully it's a max trade or cash is returned to us when the shares are taken from us. We move on. And that's what we're looking to do here with bros. Notice if you buy right here, 2797, notice how it's trading damn near support. Support goes all the way back here to May of last year. That's when it last touched this number. Now, yes, you'd like it to move higher if you're a stock owner, but that's not where we're at with bros. Okay, we're using it for selling premium. So when we use it for selling premium, look at that support line. So look, if you didn't want to do a covered call, you wanted to do a wheel, well, here's the deal. You would then place your cash secure put basically at the money. If you were assigned the shares, you then write that 30 day covered call at the money you can pick up some nice cover call premium and some cash secure put premium along the way. You're paid for putting up the money to buy somebody's shares. Then once you own the shares, you're paid to have somebody take your shares if the stock goes above your strike price. This is beautiful. I'm actually looking at Dutch Bros here and I'm thinking to myself, man, that is so beautiful of a support line. You might find, if you're a member right now, you might find I'm going to take action, probably with a cash secure put. Even though I have 1,500 shares, hey, this is new money in the game, and uh, with any new investment, it rolls on its own. Yeah, I'm in bros at other positions at 37, 38, 40, but this is new money, and new money has expectations. Return on investment. And this bank of money will be expected to make three to four percent. My second pick is bros. I'd love you to do your due diligence. Make sure you want to own the stock before you take a position one way or the other. And I wish you the best of luck. Now let's talk about stock number three, one that I use, I love, but it's very aggressive. It's very risky. Now I know some of you longtime listeners and watchers of the channel will think I'm going to talk about UPRO, UDAO, or the TQs. Even TNA could be mentioned here. Absolutely love them all. And I think I have positions in most of them. But here's the deal. I have been using FAS over the past three months, knocking it down. FAS is the 3X levered ETF to the financial sector. Now, for the most part, the companies that are in the basket of stocks that make up FAS, remember, it's an ETF, they're all the big companies. It moves with the financial sector spider, XLF, but it moves 3X leveraged. And I love that action because if I'm going to play an index, why am I going to play an index one for one? I'm going to play it 3X leveraged because at the end of the day, I can always say I'm just following the indexes. Look, if the S&P is going to be up, I'll be up 3X. If it's down, hey, I'm down like everybody else. Yes, I'm down 3X, but I'm down just like everybody else. It's a mindset. Got to have the mindset. If you do not have the mindset to handle 3%, 6% moves, you need to sit on the bench. Do not play with these stocks. I'm going to tell you that right now. Do not get involved and then you get hammered 10 points and you come back complaining. No. Need to have the mindset. Cast iron stomach. You can work with these things like I do. Now, let's talk about FAS. Before I show you the chart, I want you to see something. This is how confident I am. All of my kids' cover call plays are in FAS. You see it right there. Absolutely love using FAS to generate that 3X leverage to the financial sector. See, that's the mindset I want you to walk away when you think about these 3X leveraged ETFs. They are leveraged to an index, not a one-hit wonder stock. Now, what I'll tell you is this. I use FAS quite a bit. I think I have 2,000 shares of FAS. And I think, 
I think I might even have a cash secure put right now sitting there waiting for action. So right now I could find myself very heavy in FAS. Let's go ahead and take a look at FAS, see where it's trading now, and we'll talk about it. Now here's my question. Do you like this video today? Because if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Now what we're doing is this, I'm gonna send this video to the members just as I'm sending it to you, but I'm going to continue to talk about these trades with the members and I'm gonna put up trade ideas for them. Every single stock we talked about today, the members will get an email talking about a very specific trade that I would do using these stocks. Now, the bigger picture is, this is what I do every week. Every single week I do this for them. Whether it's a Money Monday video where we highlight a stock that I did the research on and might put skin in the game, or I will send a Seeing the World Through John's Eyes where I show you a trade setup that's very favorable. Oh, and then we have all the poor man cover call trades. I'm gonna tell you right now, the poor man cover call is absolutely killing it. Love the poor man's cover call. We're gonna use that more frequently later this year. Go to cpt-dashboard.com, click Upgraded Dashboard. I give you one free month, and I'll tell you what, you'll get all these emails when you come aboard. Now, let's talk about FAS. You can see it's kicking ass, man. I absolutely love this. Man, I got some positions right now where I am making hella jack. Didn't even notice it was up some 4% today. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chart and see where it's trading right now. We'll zip over here. The one thing I want you to know about FAS, we're gonna keep beating this drum. It is the 3X leveraged ETF to the financial sector. It's a bull, okay? Notice the trading range. Uh, recently, over the past year, right? This is over the past year. You know, last year we get this hella fall off in the stock market, so we understand that. But notice, as the stock market starts to steady, by the way, if you didn't know we're trading sideways to higher, look at the S&P 500. I sent the members that email showing them exactly how to play the SPY or UPRO if you wanted a little extra action. The S&P 500 right now is trading in a beautiful range. It's breaking out right now. Man, I need to get involved with UPRO. But let's talk FAS. As you can see, over the recent months that I've gotten involved with it, this thing has traded in this beautiful range. Of course, this is when the banks get slaughtered because of all the bankruptcies, right? With those regional banks. Well, I knew right there that uh, FAS is gonna rally because FAS is loaded with all of the too big to fail stocks. So that's exactly what has happened. FAS is moving higher. We go ahead, buy the stock, write a covered call. It falls, we do a cash secure put, we're not assigned the shares, the stock moves higher. And we are doing this time and time again. In fact, let's go back to my total income tracker and I'll show you the current trades I have. So this is where that street credibility comes in. See, you're watching a YouTuber, man. He's telling you about all this stuff. He got no skin in the game. He could tell you anything, not me. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna show you real deal. Right now, I have this covered call. Stock was trading at 58.58. I wrote the 59.50, got almost two bucks for that. It expires in two weeks. Looks like I'm gonna have my shares taken away. Knocking down $1,500. Oh, I have another covered call. This one's on 10 contracts. Notice it's already three bucks above 57. That is my cost basis, 57. I make nothing on the shares, but have knocked down so much money with the premiums. I think, I mean, I need to do a, a, a running tally on that. I've used those shares probably for at least three fat covered calls, buybacks where I make about 800 to 900 to $1,000 and we keep rolling them forward for more credits. In this case, I'm gonna have my shares taken away. We make the $2,500 in cover call premium only. And I'll tell you what, that knocking it down. And of course, FAS I'm using for all my kids. All these red markers here means the trades have closed. That means this is real money on the table. We made that money. We sold the options. We bought them back. Now we have three live trades. Absolutely love using FAS for that little extra juice on my cover call premiums. Now I mentioned my membership. You know I have a membership, man. If you've been watching, you know this. So anybody that types comments where you say, oh, it's a shame he forgot who he was. Yeah, you know who I am? I come back every single week, show you timely and relevant cover call trades, and I let you know I have a membership. 
Okay, I have a membership. You want to peek over the shoulder of an active, successful trader. We got to put skin in the game. Nothing in this world free is worth anything. You got to put skin in the game just like all of my members do. And I'll tell you what, I absolutely try to meet their expectations of what a membership should be. I cannot tell you how many times they tell me I'm giving it away. Speaking of giving it away, you get one free month. Sign up today. One free month. Absolutely would love to welcome you aboard. Hey, look, I'm going to leave it there. We talk Cisco, Dutch Bros, and FAS. Three inexpensive stocks that you can use to write covered calls. Now, I know you'll do your due diligence and you'll ask your questions. And at the end of the day, I hope you get your experience, whether you paper trade or actually take a position. Get your experience, and hey, I'm pulling for you. Hey, look, be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.